Hi, in this tutorial video we are going to be covering runtime variable manipulation. So we will go over how to change things like load and capacitance mid-simulation and see the effects on the waveform right away. To start with we have this boost PFC circuit and let's simulate it. We can see the output voltage here is settling around 350 volts and we have an input voltage about plus minus 200 volts. Okay, so let's set this up so that we can change things mid-simulation. The first thing to notice was that simulation time was about one second. We're never going to be able to get in here, in here and change things mid-simulation if it simulates after one second. So into simulation control and let's reduce the time step and increase the total time to say five seconds. Okay, so let's start the simulation. The first thing to look at is some runtime graphs. So to pull those up, you can select the voltage meters and click Runtime Graph, and a Runtime Graph will pop up. You can go to any of these and pull them up, Runtime Graph window as well, by right-clicking. The other option is go to the Simulate menu and click Runtime Graphs, and then pull up, say, any of the available graphs. So here we have the output voltage and the input current. Let's pause the simulation by hitting the pause key there. And we can now configure some variables for manipulation. So let's change the load. So to do that, you can double click and go and change this value here, and then go update value during simulation. Or you can, there's a more elegant way, by right clicking, hitting runtime variables, and then you see resistance. So this resistance value uh, is 144 ohms, and we can change that to say 100 volts ohms and hit apply and close that out. Now when we restart the simulation the new value for the load will be used and we can see the response of the system to the increased power load. We can do the same thing for the capacitor and I've already pulled out the variable there and we can increase the capacitance and see what happens. Other variables that are available for manipulation are easily found. Just simply right click and see if there's a runtime variable box. In this case, I have the gain uh, for this proportional portion of this digital PI selected. So we can increase or decrease this as we see fit. Again, we can pause the simulation at any time and change many variables at once to see what the effect will be. when they all come into effect at once. There are several other options to look at variables during simulation. We can use one of the scopes to look at variables. Let's look at the output voltage here. I'll pull this up. This operates the same as a regular lab bench scope would do. So we can change it to, to look at what's going on there with AC coupling, and we can set it to trigger, or tr set it to trigger at, for once. And this is looking at the uh, voltage after the voltage sensor. And again, we can change this as we see fit. And we can look at the effects to see what's going on. And we can also see what's going on over here as well. Once the simulation is done, all this data will be available for you to look at in SimView, the native waveform analyzer for PSIM. As we can see, the, um, the change to 200, 300 ohms has not gone very well with the controller. Maybe we'll change this back to 1. And see if it can recover in time before the simulation ends, but we're at 94%, so I'm not sure if it will manage to get to the uh, back to 350 volts by the end of the simulation. We'll see. Okay, so the simulation is over, and we can look at the waveforms now. Let's look at Vout. And we can see what happened when we changed the, uh, changed the gain of the PI, and we also changed the load. We can also zoom in 
at everything else that happened beforehand. So here's looking at some of the other effects. And we can see the, the effect of changing the capacitance and the effect of changing the load. There is an option to run PSIM in free mode, which uh, allows you to then look at variables with the scopes. To enable free mode, go in and then select free run, and PSIM will run in continuous mode until you hit stop. There are scopes available at the bottom here. There's a two channel and a one channel scope at the bottom. And there's also a four channel scope available in the elements menu and other probes for channel scope. That's it for this tutorial video. Hopefully this was informative and will allow you to do some runtime variable manipulation on your circuits to see what happens when you change things around. Thank you so much for watching. Check back often for more videos.